Welcome to the Media Box. George Papandreou here to talk about uh, supporting a European perspective for the Western Balkans. Why the focus on this region and why now? Well, we've been focusing on this region for at least 20 years to try to move it forward to become part of the European Union. But uh, now with the geopolitical situation, I think people have realized that if we leave areas um, lingering, uh, isolated, and not bringing them into our family, which basically guarantees uh, a family of values, of uh, institutions which work, of democracy which work, of respect of human rights, respect of minority rights, of uh, transparency and in fighting inequalities, and giving a sense of possible prosperity, if we do not move in this direction, then all things can happen. And uh, geopolitics can get involved. Uh, certain groups will look for big brothers to protect their interests uh, against another group. So you're talking about Russia as the... the Russia, Russia, but of course, and, and, and there, are, there are many countries that could possibly uh, profit from uh, creating more divisions in the Western Balkans, which already has come, come through conflicts in the past uh, decades. And, uh, and, and so Europe, in a way, is a, is a way to... The whole accession process is a way to give hope that we can actually deal with these conflicts and put an end to them, closure for these conflicts, as whether you're Serb or Albanian or Kosovar or Bosniak or, or Croatian uh, or from North Macedonia or Greece, Bulgaria, we can all live together in a common family according to rules rather than competing and having conflicts. Young people. They feel that they have no prospect. So what do they do? They migrate to Europe or to the rest of Europe. They migrate outside. Uh, and that saps the most vital part of these countries, which then you are left with an older generation, which generally has the more conservative, less open to new reforms, less open to taking risks in whether it's startups or whether it's economic development or whether it's reforms for democracy. So you really are destroying the potential of this, this region, and we need to bring them back by making these reform changes. And this is where the Council of Europe actually can play a major role. How can it play that role in terms of, as you put it, adding new impetus to European integration? With our strategic relationship, the Council of Europe, with the European Union, we can work with these countries, and I would hope to create a momentum, a new momentum. Uh, to give agency, first of all, to the countries themselves, the region themselves, in itself, but also to bring this expertise and this knowledge uh, at the same time asking the European Union to step up to its responsibilities and saying, OK, it's been 20 years since the Thessaloniki summit in 2003 where we pledged we would have these countries inside the European Union. It's taken a long time. Let's make a new effort. Let's have a new start. Let's, let's rekindle the dream that so many of these peoples in the region want because they realize that being in the European Union is not just prosperity, it's not just financial or economic prosperity. It's a sense of freedom, a sense of democracy, a sense of being able to, to, to respect your own identity, whoever you may be, religiously, ethnically, gender-wise, politically. You have, uh, you have uh, respect of who you are and therefore a sense of freedom, freedom of movement also. And uh, I think this will then basically heal the wounds of previous conflicts. George Papandreou, thanks for talking to us. Thank you very much.